inside. So, as the song just said, I'm back home. Oh, and it just changed. It's in my pocket, so, and it's YouTube. It's not my phone. It's a phone I just got back. What well, is my phone? It's a phone in my name. It's a phone. It's a phone account in my name. But I got this phone and I got this phone account in my name and I gave it to my ex's son. And I gave it to him as a birthday present. But I was going to give it to him before that. But he didn't earn it. So as his birthday present, I, I gave it to him. But I told him he had to keep earning it. You don't get to keep it if you don't earn it. There's things you got to do. It's a privilege. It's a cell phone. And you're 15. So, but... We are in August 24th now because it's after midnight. And me and his dad split up July 4th. And that was the second time technically I had left. Because I had left in June the first time okay, I can't take whatever the hell's going off in my ear and uh it was playing a song and then it stopped so um like we went on a vacation and when we came back I, I told you that as we got out of the car Every other kids got out. We had taken my oldest son. Sorry, I look like shit. I got off the bus today. I went to therapy. I came back. I got to my friend's house. I lay down and I slept. And this is how this is why this all got brought up. It was because he had had a bag full of my prescriptions as of three thirty this afternoon. When I talked to him, he had a bag of my prescriptions that he had picked up from the pharmacy here in town. From my last time I was here in town two weeks ago because of circumstances and I didn't get to the pharmacy in time to get them before my bus left to take me to Michigan because remember I'm traveling because he said today well where do you live at and I said well technically my permanent address is still his house that's what my ID says his house but I don't have a house Nobody's house has my name on the lease except for his house. Where I'm at tonight, my name's not on the lease. I'm a visitor. Who picked me up from the bus station today? I get mail there, but my name's not on her deed. Where I'm going back to, to tomorrow, where I'm heading back to, where I, I was just at, where I'm going back to, my name's not on his lease. Regardless if we're in a relationship or not, don't people have relationships all the time and yet spend a lot of time together? Might as well live together. Okay, because, see, my friend whose house, my apartment that I'm staying in tonight, my friend's apartment. Okay, here's the thing. I have a key to her apartment. I don't live here. I have a key. So in case like today, days like today where I come into town and I need a place to stay, I can get in the door. It is a safe haven for me. I have a key to her apartment. I'm not on her lease. But I can get in. I don't live here. I don't have clothes here. I brought clothes with me. I have a key to my mother's house too. I definitely don't fucking live there. But when she talked to me two weeks ago, she said, are you spending the night at home tonight? But I don't consider that my home. That's her home. That's why she said, are you coming? Do you spend the night at home tonight? Well, it's her home. It's not mine. It hasn't been my home for a very long time. So, I grew up in this town that I'm in. I'm in Miamisburg, Ohio today. We moved here when I was in 8th grade. We lived here until uh, the beginning of my junior year. Beginning of my junior year, I didn't even attend except for a couple of days... Because I had recently, right, I mean, August 18th, 
had had my oldest son at 16 years of age, right before my junior year started. I was still on maternity leave when junior year started. Imagine I'm fucking maybe six feet, ain't so far down. It's really not so far down. What the hell is going on with the music tonight, man? It keeps changing. We're stopping. That laughed in my ear just now. here from Mount Healthy. From Mount Healthy, I'd lived in Springdale. Before Springdale, it was Loveland. Before Loveland was Hamilton. And in Hamilton, I went all different sides of Hamilton. From here, we moved to Middletown. Okay, so and from Middletown, my parents moved to Batavia, but I had moved back here. And then I moved to Batavia, and then we moved to Maysville, and then I moved back up this way a couple of different places, but I always went back to Maysville because that's where my parents were at, and uh, then they moved to Fleming County, and I was in Aberdeen, Then we moved back up here, and like I said, in like 2010, 2009, 2010. I've lived all over again since then. I've lived back in Miamisburg. I've lived back in Maysville. I've lived in Germantown. Ohio. Not Kentucky. I've lived in Indiana. And now I'm currently staying, just staying in Michigan because we haven't made it a permanent address yet. So I can't say I'm living there. I mean, I'm spending a lot of time there. But he asked me, well, where are you living at? Where's your home? Well, home is where the heart is. Where's my heart? Where's my heart? Ah. Home is where the heart is. Inside. Wake me up. Call my name and save me from my talk. To right, or I come undone. Save me from the nothing I become. Lead to life. Gotta love the way the music plays sometimes, though. So, technically I'm homeless, but home is where the heart is. Big part of my heart is here, and a big part of my heart is in Michigan, and parts of my heart are all over this country. A wise man, couldn't make it as a poor man, stealing, try to live in like a blind man. Sick and silent and a sense of feeling And this is how you remind me This is how you remind me I really am This is how you remind me What I really am I'd like you to say sorry I was waiting down a different story This time I'm mistaken Oh, handing you a heart worth breaking And I've been wrong I've been down To the bottom of every bottle Five words in my head 
Scream Maria there for you. So, to those who have never been to Miamisburg, Ohio, I know it's a little dark. I'll try to film tomorrow in the late daylight. But I got asked a question in Where are you living? Y'all been with me? Living with me was the damn near killed you, darling. I'm sorry. I guess I damn near killed you. Was I really that bad? I fed you. I made sure you had clean clothes. I made sure your house was clean. You got to come home every day and sit your ass down and rarely ever had to do anything else except for on your days off. I tried to take burdens off of you. And you want to make it out like I'm some fucking monster. But yet, yeah, you're the one who's still struggling. I'm getting calmer and calmer by the day. You showed up to my sanctuary tonight. I was sitting on the steps. I was sitting on concrete steps, smoking. You stood over top of me yet again, angry. I still kept my volume at this because I was being respectful of my friend's neighbors. You stormed back over to your truck yelling, talking about how I'm a liar. Well, no, because I told you these stories. You chose not to listen. You chose not to listen. That ain't on me. If you don't listen, then it's not on me because I told you my stories. I've never lied to you. Tell you all the time, I'm big on fucking truth. But if you don't take it away from the truth, if you don't listen to the truth, then that's not on me. I didn't lie. You just didn't listen. You keep telling me I lied to you, but I never lied to you. I told you. You want to keep on acting like I was, you put me on some fucking pedestal. That ain't on me. I am not fucking perfect. Everybody needs to stop putting me on a goddamn pedestal and then acting like when I fell down off of it, like I was perfect. Well, I'm sorry. I am human. Like you. I am human. I'm not perfect. I make mistakes. Multiple. Every day. I don't understand how you're allowed to make mistakes, but I'm not. I don't understand how you guys are supposed to be oh so what? Infallible? Oh, no, I'm the one that's supposed to be infallible, but you're allowed to do whatever the fuck. Yes, thank you for reminding me. This is how you remind me of what I really am. I am human, like you. And it's not like you to say sorry, but you need to. You need to all learn how to say, I am sorry for not being perfect, because I am sorry for not being fucking perfect, guys. I'm human. I've lived a hard fucking life like everybody. I've had my shit happen like everybody. But here's the difference. I'm not letting my, my shit happen keep on affecting me. I'm not letting it make me mean. I'm not letting it make me hard. But I am also not letting it make me accept everybody else's bullshit. Fuck that and fuck you. You want to be hard and you want to be assholes and you want to be ass you want to be bitches? Go ahead. Go ahead. But here's my bitch move. I don't accept it. I don't accept you getting to be a bitch to me because you have a hard day. Well, I didn't do it. I wasn't mean to you. You want to be mean to me? I will be mean to you. I will reflect. You want to know why I moved on? Well, because he's a sweetheart. Hi, sweetheart. I love you. You treat me like a princess. You spoil me. I can't wait to get home to where my heart is with him. He feeds me, not just food, he feeds me love. He tells me I'm beautiful every fucking day, multiple times a day. Regardless if I feel like I'm beautiful, he makes me feel beautiful. I think he's gorgeous. Regardless if he thinks he's gorgeous, I think he's gorgeous. He's a sweetheart. He's my sweetheart. But see, that's how that works. We make each other feel good. I used to try to make, well, all of you feel good. I used to try to build all of you up. 
make you all feel lifted. But the problem comes in is that you all could seem to think that I'm supposed to lift you up while you get to beat me down. And no. I refuse. I refuse to be beat down by you. I am better than deserving of being beat down by anybody in this goddamn world. Fuck you. All of you. And to those who think that I don't know what I know, admit it. Stop lying to me. Stop lying to yourselves. Admit your shit. Stop turning it on me. Stop using me as your mirror. Go turn around and look in your own fucking mirrors. Admit your own shit. I'm done accepting it. I'm done being in your fucking mirror. Go look in your own goddamn motherfucking mirrors. Accept your own goddamn demons. Dance with your own fucking shadows. Listen to your own fucking music. And deal with your own fucking shit. It is time this world fixes its fucking self. It's time the world fixes itself, not the world depends on everybody else to fucking fix it for it. Fix yourselves. Where do you live? Now, but I still love you all, but I don't love your fucking behaviors. It's time that you all fix yourselves. I love you. I'm dropping my shit, and I'm not, I'm, I'm not doing this tonight, but I do love y'all. Thank you for listening. Go do better. I'm not sorry tonight. Please do forgive, though. Have a great one.